The sheer magnitude of impact measurement tools that exist makes it harder rather than easier to apply impact measurement in the best possible way. That is why you need to move from impact measurement as a methodology to impact measurement as a strategy. This applies whether you are an impact investor or whether you want to assess the impact that your organization is creating. How to best do this is at the heart of this video. Every sound assessment of impact and actually the very design of an impact organization should start with a systems analysis. In particular, as regards the root causes of the social problem the enterprise seeks to address. Once we have mapped the system and identified the causes, ventures would formulate what we call a theory of change, which contains a greater vision and a more fine-grained operational strategy of what the venture wants to do about the problem. In a second step, ventures define and clarify their activities, which usually comprise many things. It could be the provision of a service or the manufacturing of a product, but also awareness raising activities by which the venture wants to create social change. So far, we have only looked at what the venture is like and what it does. In a third step, we start thinking about what the venture has delivered to its target groups. Outputs, just as activities, will always comprise many things, such as the number of trainings provided or the amount of lobbying performed. For example, measured by the number of policy papers published or the number of meetings with policymakers. The fourth step is the most challenging one. This is where change makers actually ask themselves, have I changed anything? What exactly was it and by how much has it changed? This could relate to increased levels of tolerance or improved living conditions. This stage is sometimes referred to as impacts but it could also be called attributable social outcomes, that is, improvements for the target group that can be related to the activities of an organization. Let's go into an example. Nebenan.de is a neighborhood support platform. Among the many activities they are performing is a buy local initiative, community initiatives meant to bring people living in the same neighborhood together, or the provision of mutual support among neighbors. Let's say the platform matches older people who need support in daily activities with young families. One of many outputs might be the number of times the older person has received assistance with their shopping. And this in turn might lead to a number of outcomes like an increased feeling of being supported, but such support could even lead to friendship. The main message here is that in the complex social system of society, activities don't translate neatly into indicators and one activity might have several outcomes. The main challenge and task of an impact analysis is to prioritize what is most important and keep the analysis lean and manageable, while also accounting for multiple impact chains and kinds of evidence to prove impact has really occurred. For this, it can be helpful to realize that there is an area where organizations do and explain, while there also needs to be a space for deeper reflection which you could call plan and learn. The second main message here is that for many social ventures, it is the things that are difficult to measure which matter most. Now in relation to nebenan.de, but really in relation to any organization, there are three different options of how you can go about assessing impact. First, you can choose to be agnostic. As long as the organization is running smoothly and stably, you wouldn't even go about gathering any impact-related data. Option two is the get facts type of analyst who would ask, what has happened? This question can be answered by looking for hard facts, such as the numbers of events or users mentioned before. The third option is that of the impact analyst who would ask, why have things happened? This can only be answered by getting in touch with and talking to people for example, by setting up a primary survey or conducting interviews. As we move from left to right, that is from the agnostic position to the analytic position, the effort that needs to be put into assessing impact will obviously increase. What we tend to forget, however, is 
that the risk of impact not happening decreases at the same time. So the first lesson here is that impact measurement is not only a cost factor, but a powerful means of managing risk. To do impact measurement properly, it is more important to take some key considerations into account rather than know about all available measurement tools. A sound measurement strategy should recognize that phases where you plan and learn and where you do and explain are equally important and revolving. And also that while input, output, outcome, impact models can help you structure your thinking, you will most likely accelerate your own impact when you choose to embrace complexity in your impact analysis.